<clears throat> for this example, um, we're again looking at that pinching characteristic, um, seeing if this pinches off fast enough. And um, in this case, we're looking at the upper and lower limits here. They're no longer infinite, but um, if we look at this, we're just going from 0 to 4. So um, if we take a look at the characteristics of this graph here, we're really looking at the pinching off against the y-axis here um, because we're only taking the... Uh, um, oof, it's a bad line. We're only taking the, uh, the area up to... Um, that point right here and so we're looking at that area and so all of this pinching that we're talking about you know could be either along the X or the Y axis or both um, we could have taken this out to infinity too but we're just taking that area there and we're saying you know is this pinching off against the Y axis fast enough and so um, again I'm just going to deal with the integration portion first and we'll deal with the uh, improper um, portion after that. So um, this is just, you know, really integrating 1 over x dx if we pull out the 8. And so we're looking at 8 times the natural log of the absolute value of x, um, absolute value of, uh, of x uh, for that expression, for that integral. So if we're looking at um, then from 0 to 4, 8 over x dx, we're looking at taking the limit. Um, and in this case, it's the lower bound that's the issue because uh, the 0 in the denominator makes it undefined. So I'll call that A, and uh, we're going to let A approach 0. And if we think about this A approaching 0, we're really letting A approach 0 from the right-hand side or the greater than side. Um, we're not working at all in the fourth quadrant, so we're going to note that we're approaching zero from the right. Um, and then this lower bound becomes a, the upper bound is 4, um, 8 over x dx. So we're taking the limit as a approaches zero from the right, from a to 4 of 8 over x dx. And so that's going to be the limit as a approaches zero from the right. Um, and this integral is just 8 times the natural log of x. Um, and then the lower bound is a, and the upper bound is 4. So we're looking at uh, the limit as a approaches 0 from the right of 8 times the natural log of the absolute value of 4 minus 8 times the natural log of the absolute value of a. And so looking at that expression, um, uh, we have 8, evaluating that as, as a approaches 0 from the right, we've got 8 times the natural log of the absolute value of 4, uh, minus 8 times the natural log of a as a approaches 0 from the right is um, infinite, negative infinity. And so we have this uh, value here that is just uh, infinite, um, uh, an infinite value. So even as we're just causing this to pinch off against the y-axis, it is not doing so fast enough uh, to get a finite value for that area. So uh, this is divergent then. Um, it's a divergent um, improper yeah. integral. Um, sometimes they say that the limit does not exist. And so that would be another way of saying that as well. So just to recap the three examples we went through, we had this, which was convergent. So, um, you know, the, this ended up being a, a convergent improper integral, and this, this converged to 4. And so this pinching off was fast enough. So um, that pinching off was fast enough. This ended up being infinite, so this is divergent. 
and um, and we see that um, if we take a look at um, that pinching off that occurs here, it was against the against the x-axis, and that just was not occurring fast enough to get a finite value. This was pinching off dramatically enough or fast enough to get a finite value. And then that last example we just went through again was divergent. Um, and this is, this is where we had the pinching against the y-axis, but again, just not fast enough. Um, so we ended up with an infinite area here as well.